Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar. And today we will be doing a simulation on a plate uh, with a hole. And as you can see that this plate is uh, uh, fixed uh, with a ball here and uh, force is applied in this direction. And uh, you can see a hole here. We uh, will be doing a simulation uh, with a similar plate. So let's go to here SolidWorks. I am using SolidWorks 2020. Let's go to here new and click part and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. So first of all, as usual, I'll change my background to plain white and I'm using uh, MMGS uh, uh, unit system. So let's first sketch the plate. So let's go to here sketch and I will be using this front plane and let's go to here center rectangle and I'll make a rectangle here. Let's dimension it. So let's say this vertical length is uh, 100 mm and uh, this horizontal length is let's say 200 mm and uh, let's make a circle in the center and uh, let's dimension it let's say this hole is uh, 40 mm and uh, okay you can see that the sketch is fully defined so let's go to your features extruded boss and uh, I'll be using extrusion from the mid plane and extrusion uh, depth will be let's say uh, 30 mm and click OK. And now you can see that uh, our plate is ready for simulation. Let's reduce the thickness to let's say 20 mm. Okay, so uh, uh, we'll be doing a simple simulation here. We will fix this side of the plate and uh, we'll apply forces uh, in this phase and we'll see the result. Uh, as we know that from mechanics of material that stresses will be uh, developed when we apply force here and these stresses will be maximum uh, near the hole. So let's go to simulation uh, for simulation. Uh, just go to here uh, this drop down go to your add-ins and uh, check this box SOLIDWORKS simulation and click OK. Uh, now you, uh, you can see that this simulation tab is appeared uh, just go to your simulation and uh, go to your new study click this new study and uh, uh, we will be using this static simulation you can see so many kinds of simulation in SOLIDWORKS. So let's click here static and click OK. So the first part is to uh, apply material to this uh, plate. So just right click here and uh, go to here apply edit material. And now you can apply these uh, uh, so many kinds of materials here. So let's say I will use AISI1020 steel and you can see the uh, mechanical properties here. Just click here apply and close. Now you can see that material is applied and you can see here as well. Uh, this option, this connection options is for uh, let's say if uh, uh, we are doing a simulation having uh, multiple parts and uh, uh, this basically shows that how your parts are connected bolted or riveted or welded etc but uh, because this is a single part so I will not be using this connections option so let's go to here this option fixtures and just right click here uh, go to here fixed geometry and you can see that fixed geometry roller slider fixed hinge so I will be using this fixed geometry and I will fix this geometry from here uh, like a cantilever beam and click OK. So next part is to uh, let's say apply external loads just right click here and click here force and I will be using this face but this is not the correct direction so I will check this box reverse direction and I will change the uh, force value to let's say 1000 Newton and click OK. So fixtures applied, force is applied and uh, next option is 
we will mesh uh, we will apply mesh to this plate just right click and uh, create mesh and now you can see that you can uh, have uh, a finer mesh but it will take uh, some more time and uh, you can see here mesh parameters as well click ok so uh, mesh is al also done and uh, lastly I will run this study for simulation so just go to here run, uh, uh, run this study and click here uh, and now you can see that as I said uh, stresses will be maximum uh, near the hole but the, this is not the true scale you can see that deformation scale is not 1 is to 1 so uh, this is the stress plot these are 1, uh, one minus st stresses and this is the uh, uh, yield strength of this material so just uh, right click here stress and go to here edit definition and uh, just uh, check this true scale and click ok and now you can see that this is the 1 is to 1 uh, scale uh, also just right click and uh, go to your chart options and uh, check this box show minimum and maximum annotations you can see that uh, maximum and uh, uh, maximum stress here and minimum stress is here uh, you can also uh, see uh, using these uh, color contours and uh, you can change the let's say minimum value to zero and you can also change the uh, colors and uh, all these settings let's say i'll change this to floating with uh, one decimal and click ok so you can see that maximum stresses are generated here and minimum stress are here, uh, are here. Uh, we can also animate this and just click here and now you can see that uh, how stresses are uh, flowing in your uh, part click ok uh, let's right click here again and uh, let's go to here let's say section clipping and uh, I can section this so that I can see the uh, stresses in the part we can also see uh, how stresses are flowing in this uh, plate so click here iso clipping and uh, just uh, drag this iso value and uh, I have found this option very cool now you can see that how stresses are uh, flowing in this uh, plate when load is applied you can also see here as well uh, we can do uh, same thing with uh, displacement and strain you can see that it is not 1 is to 1 so we can make it 1 is to 1 as well just go to your chart options and uh, click here click here and you can also set minimum value to 0 and uh, I'll make it floating and let's go to here definitions and click here true scale so this will be 1 is to 1 we can also uh, do same thing for strains let's go to here stress again go to here settings and uh, uh, we can do uh, so many things here uh, lastly uh, we can generate the uh, word report here as well which is uh, very easy just go to here report and uh, you can see that you can uh, uh, automatically generate your simulation report for your uh, uh, simulation project or uh, uh, any other freelancing uh, project related to uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation and you can uh, let's say uh, you can have your uh, designer name company name address and all these things so let's click here apply and publish and now your word report is generated
so you can see that your uh, uh, simulation report of this uh, uh, rectangular block and you can see table of contents automatically generated and because we haven't uh, uh, let's say uh, we haven't uh, write the description uh, we can write here as well and you can see that assumptions model information boundary conditions and uh, all these things related to this uh, uh, simulation uh, I have found this uh, very very useful uh, when uh, I was doing uh, projects related to a SOLIDWORKS simulation I just cancel it and uh, you can have your plot tools here as well animation uh, we can also save the animation and uh, uh, you can see that section clipping mesh sectioning probe and all these things related to simulation okay so that's it for today's tutorial uh, i hope you like it and if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you